hello guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl amity here and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to join us so today's video is from matt wash and it's about the song that has that is that has become the world view song like world anthem i know some places it's an american anthem no guys it's not a world view anthem because this song is like our day-to-day -day life that anthony just sang about so matt wash in this way said this is the protest song of our generation hmm. let's check it out guys <laughs> Well, you know, this segment, The Daily Cancellation, is special to me. Indeed, I think it's probably special to the entire world. Um, some would even say that it is sacred. Uh, and I consider it a privilege, but also an important responsibility to cancel someone at the end of every show, every day, forever, until the end of time. But on rare occasion, very, very rare occasion, I find it necessary to dedicate this portion of the show to something other than canceling some evildoer. And usually this happens when there's something else I want to talk about for 10 minutes, but I can't find any other space for it in the show. So that's how we end up here. Anyway, the point is that Today is one of those very rare days. So I want to tell you about a man named Oliver Anthony. He's a blue-collar guy, lives way out in the sticks in Virginia, basically off the grid. In his free time, he likes to play and sing songs that, that he writes. For the past few years, he's been uh, occasionally recording his songs on his phone, posting them to his YouTube channel, which had, I don't know, maybe a few hundred subscribers. And his videos would get maybe a few dozen or a few hundred views. But that has changed rather suddenly over the last few days. This man and his music have gone massively viral, thanks primarily to one song of his called Rich Men, Rich Men North of Richmond, which made its way from YouTube to Twitter, where uh, it caught fire. And the video of him performing this song while standing in the woods in front of his deer stand has now been viewed millions of times. The song is currently trending nationwide on Twitter, and he's even had public offers, including from our friend John Rich, to produce and distribute a studio album. Um, Oliver Anthony has, has gone from full obscurity, about as obscure as a musical artist can possibly be, playing songs in the woods by himself, to musical fame in the span of like two days. And it's a great story. The best part is the song that has driven all of this. And uh, there are a few points to make about that. But first, let's play a clip of the song. Here it is. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit. Play so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an whole soul. Look out for miners, and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge drowns. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, because all this damn country does is keep all that you do. Look out for miners, and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge drowns. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. 
Okay, so that's a uh, clip of it. Now, now, first, needless to say, I love the song. This is my kind of music. I can listen to this sort of stuff all day. Just a guy with a beard standing in the woods, singing about his troubles and playing the guitar. That's my vibe, as the kids would say. It's also what all country music should sound like, instead of sounding as it so often does, like generic pop music with a slight twang. Most country music these days, like all other kinds of popular music, sound like it was, you know, it sounds like it was made by, uh, by an algorithm, not a person. And this song, on the other hand, sounds raw and real and human. But it's interesting that a song like this has become an internet sensation because normally when you hear about a song that's gone viral, you assume that it must be Taylor Swift singing for the 90th time about one of her ex-boyfriends or maybe another rap song about the female anatomy or whatever. You, you imagine a song that people can dance to in TikTok videos, which they record in public somewhere, like at the grocery store, while confused shoppers look on. You don't necessarily imagine a low-tech, low-budget recording of a folk song where a bearded guy stands in the woods and sings about the pain of being a working-class American. So why has this one caught on? Well, I think there are two reasons. First of all, it, you know, it's, it's uh, just good music. Oliver, Tan- Oliver Anthony has raw talent, and sometimes the combination of good music and raw talent is hard to ign- ignore. Second, it's, it's the message. You know, Anthony is singing about the forgotten American, uh, the, the, the working class man who breaks his back all day only to have the, his pockets picked by the IRS while the people in charge of this country ignore his concerns and spit in his face whenever he tries to convey them. He's speaking up for people who don't have a voice. And although there's real poetry in his lyrics, he's expressing those concerns using the same language that they would use. Innovation Refunds has been helping small businesses that qualify to get a business payroll tax refund through their employee retention credit, or also known as the ERC. The ERC is a tax refund for businesses that kept employees on payroll for parts of 2020 and 2021. If you own a business with more than five employees, you could have money waiting to be claimed, but you got to claim it. The ERC tax filing is complex. Innovation Refunds is dedicated then to helping business owners navigate the process. Let their team guide you through the remaining steps to find out if you're eligible. Partner with their dedicated team of independent tax attorneys to complete your ERC application with confidence and peace of mind today. Innovation Refunds does not provide tax or legal advice. They work with an independent network of tax professionals and will share information with them to evaluate and process your claims. Go to GetRefunds.com to determine your eligibility. If you qualify, you could be on your way to receiving money for your business. There's no upfront charge since they don't get paid unless you get paid. Go to GetRefunds.com or dial 1-843-REFUNDS. That's GetRefunds.com, 1-843-REFUNDS. Terms and conditions apply. Many Americans have lost faith in the government, media, schools. That's the bad news. The good news is that there's something you can do to help get the country back on track. PragerU is an educational nonprofit that is fighting to save the future of America. And we've been working closely with PragerU uh, for many years. And I, I did a, my first PragerU video, I think, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. And uh, it's been great to watch them only grow in the meantime. Watch five million times a day. PragerU videos spread messages of liberty, economic freedom, and Judeo-Christian values to the next generation. There truly is hope for America, but only if we reach more young people. And PragerU needs your help doing that. Go to PragerU.com, make a tax-deductible donation. Whatever uh, you give right now will be matched and have twice the impact Donate ten dollars, it doubles to twenty dollars. Give fifty, it becomes a hundred. You get the idea. Seventy percent of viewers say that their mind was changed after watching a PragerU video. Please give to PragerU today, so your gift can have double the impact in reaching more people and changing more minds. Go to PragerU.com today. Whatever you give will be doubled. Now we hear so much about the the need for representation in our culture, but the fact is that there are millions of people who are not represented anywhere. Not in media, not in Hollywood, not in popular music, not in government, nowhere. And those are the people who look and live like Oliver Anthony. It's also worth noting, I think it's interesting, those lines, that's why I wanted to play that much of it so you could hear the lines at the end. Um, the, the lines about the wealth, welfare state. Um, this song is being called a populist anthem, which it is. I think it may, be the, it may become the, the protest song of this generation. But conventional wisdom says that attacking entitlements, attacking welfare, is not populist. In fact, we're told, if you really care about people like Oliver Anthony, you should defend entitlement programs and insist that we should continue spending hundreds of billions on them. But the truth is that guys like Anthony, they work all day to provide for themselves and their own families. Um, They're not fans of the fact that their money is being taken from them, food is being taken out of their children's mouths, 
in order to prop up this system of entitlements that really functions as nothing more than a, a vote buying scheme for Democrats. Okay, go up to almost any guy at any bar in any blue collar part of the country and ask them about welfare. And they will say something very similar to what Anthony says in that song. Almost all of them will. And yet Republicans are afraid to even mention the subject for fear that they'll lose the votes of the very people who are being scammed by this system. I said there are two reasons why the song's uh, popular. Actually, there are three, so I lied. Because there's something else, too. Um, it's not just that the message is resonating. I think there's something deeper, too. It's, it's, it's authenticity. Okay? People in this country are starved for authenticity. Everything is fake, right? Every, everything around us is fake. The music is all basically computer generated. The movies are full of CGI. Most of what you see on the news is fake. Most of what you find on social media is fake. We've got filters and Photoshop and AI and deep fakes. We're just surrounded by artificiality. We're drowning in it. And that's why a video of a guy pouring his heart out while he plays his guitar in the woods in front of his deer stand with his dogs laying there in the grass and the cicadas buzzing in the background, that's why it resonates with people. It's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a glass of cool water for people who are thirsting for something real. And that's why it went viral. And, and also, again, it's just good music. It's simply good music. And maybe it doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. And for all of those reasons... Oliver Anthony is today certainly not canceled. Guys, like, I don't know if the more I listen to this song, the more I'm getting to, like, understand the lyrics. Because I know I said the first time I listened to it, some lyrics with, did not make sense to me. And I didn't even understand what rich men of North Richmond meant. And I got to understand, like, talking about the rich men from. Uh, Washington DC. So I'm getting to know more and guys and I've and I've said it before this song is not just for it's not just for American people because this song is a world view song. Oliver Anthony is or sang about his experience as a normal man working on a blue collar job, not knowing that he was just re echoing what has been what has been in the mind of people. And what is still being in the mind of people like this is what people are experiencing everywhere, everywhere around the world. Like, gosh, like I can't even say it, you know. But I know you guys understand what I mean. But let me know your comment section. Let me know in the comment section what your thought is about this whole song. Does it resonate anything? Like, does it strike anything in you? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Be you do it, but do not conform. And be happy, guys. Bye, guys.